do right to everybody's business. Please welcome the newly named Stephanie Elise Fredo.
has moved on to other things, but that reading test. Now, for the second part, I'm sure many of you are wondering how did I come up with my new name? I felt many of you are asking how I decided on this name. Nearly a year ago, I wrote about my first GYN appointment. I had a flood of memories as I wrote. One of those memories I felt I needed to share was about my name. To answer your questions, I'm including an excerpt from about my first GYN appointment with Dr. Freeman. There was a TV show when I was growing up, the FBI. The lead character was Efren Zimbrus Jr. His daughter was Stephanie Zimbrus, who also had a TV career, most notable, notably Remington Steele. Stephanie is a former Stephen, which is a former Stephen, the way that I spell my male name. Stephanie is from Greek meaning crown. Stephanie Zimbalist was born in 1956, one year before me. There are many other famous Stephanies, such as Stephanie Graff of the tennis fame. Initially, I used Steph, I used Steph which I felt it was short of being fully being Stephanie and short of being fully female. I began using Stephanie, which felt was still something was still missing. Then I looked for a middle name come up with the obvious, Michelle from Michael. There are many times I thought when I changed, formally changed my name, he used a different female name. I've considered Stephanie Austin, as Austin is where I began living and uh, living totally and completely female. I've also thought of using Stephanie Freno. Many years ago, I had a talk with my grandfather, Johnson. At the time, he was 91 years old. I didn't know why at the time it was important to me to ask him about the history and lineage of the Johnson name. He began talking and I found a note card and began writing down as much as I could as he talked. He said the Johnson name originally was Freno, which he said is an Irish name. He also said Freno is Italian, Latin, and also Spanish descent. He said the Frenos immigrated to the U.S the name was changed to John Stunt. Then he said there was some Cherokee Indian. As I wrote down, I wrote down as much as I could and felt that I was getting this firsthand from my grandfather. The information he provided was all new to me. I had never been informed of the Johnson name. He said the Johnson's name was changed to John's son over, many, over a span of many years. Within months of talking to my grandfather, he passed away. I have always felt that talk was and remains special to me. My decision to change my name to Stephanie Elise Prino goes back to my heritage. Elsie is honoring my counselor, Annette Delcanto Ellington. During a counseling session in February, I discussed with Annette that I wanted to honor her and use Annette as my middle name. She was quite taken by my desire. Annette began to tell me of her grandmother, who had the name Elise. As soon as she said her name, Elise, I knew immediately that I would like to have this as my middle name. Elise, so is honoring my counselor, which also codifies the bond between us, my counselor and, and myself. Not long after my session with Annette, which sealed my middle name as Elise, I instantly loved the way it sounded. <coughs> Stephanie Elise Prino. I was surfing the web and looked up Miss Wendy Davis, former Texas Senator, who I've come to admire. She is quoted as saying, you don't change things unless you are prepared to fight, even if you don't win. Mm. There's even a bumper sticker which I have in my bedroom, which to me is a very powerful statement of not giving up. I was surprised to learn and read in her bio that there is someone in her family by the name also of Elise. I looked, I took my surfing one step further and looked up the meaning of Elise. There were four different meanings of Elise in Greek, Hebrew, American, and French. In Greek, it means the oath of God or God is satisfaction. Famous spirit. Old Testament Elizabeth was the mother of John the Baptist and one of the earliest known bearers of this name. 
in Hebrew, it means from Yeshibra, meaning either oath of God or God is satisfaction. In American, it means from the Hebrew Yeshiva, meaning either the oath of God or God is satisfaction. And in French, consecrated to God. All three different, all the meanings that I found, I was surprised at how close they were. 